Thanks for watching my videos. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. The next restaurant we'll talk about is Prime Barbecue in Nightdale, which is a suburb of Raleigh. Uh, Nightdale is a pretty hot area. There's a lot of young families moving in, and I believe it's uh, one of the hottest zip codes for real estate prices in the area. Prime was supposed to open uh, last year, I believe. It's new construction. Uh, the permit process was pretty slow, and then COVID hit, and everything was in lockdown, and most restaurants were closed. It's owned by Chris Prieto, who was on Barbecue Pitmasters, Chopped, and Fox News. He definitely knows his stuff. Um, he seems to live for, for the craft of barbecue, and he wanted to build a barbecue restaurant that took the best from several regions, not just pork, which is more, more typical of North Carolina barbecue. And I could appreciate that. I think there is great barbecue in many regions of the country, so to just be locked into one region really limits your experience. I anticipated the opening for a while, and I watched them build it from the ground up. This is not really in a strip mall. It's not a franchisee trying to take advantage of a hot market. Somebody spent a lot of money on this place and finally opened this past May, but it was takeout only. Uh, after a lot of anticipation, I was very excited to try it. I found it very expensive. They were only selling meat by the pound, and honestly, the food was not that great, given all the anticipation. It was a brand new place, and I believe it's Chris's first location, so maybe it was just growing pains, and uh, I would try it again when they, when they had indoor seating. Now that they do have indoor seating, their hours are still pretty limited. They close at 4 p.m., which means they're not open for traditional dinner times, and they're closed on Sunday and Monday. I assume Chris and his team are in pretty deep debt from building this restaurant, so if this was my place, I would try to be open every day, especially for dinner. Since the restaurant stumbled a bit out of the gate, you would think they would want to be open every day for dinner, but that's not the case. Even so, if you look up their reviews on Google and Yelp, it's page after page of pretty much all five-star reviews. They have uh, some weekly specials. On Thursday, they have barbecue chicken. I don't think that's really anything exciting. On Friday, though, they have beef ribs, which is really my all-time favorite. I understand they're $28 each, but these are not like pork ribs. Um, I understand each rib is about two pounds, so I can probably feed a couple of people. And on Saturday, they have whole hog. So we went on Saturday for lunch and ordered a three-meat platter with brisket, whole hog, and ribs. Unlike other places like City Barbecue and Big Al's, Prime does let you add ribs to the platters, which I liked. You do only get two ribs, though. They give pig skins on the side chopped into small bits. This is where most of the smoke and seasoning flavor comes from when doing whole hog. Unlike Skylight Inn, who chops the skin into the meat, Prime gives it as a side in a small cup. So now on to the scoring. For smoke flavor, I gave them a two. Like most of the other places, I see their barbecue pits, their smokers, their stacks of wood, and they're cooking for hours, but I really don't taste much smoke. Maybe I need to lower my expectations, but I have had very smoky barbecue at a couple of places, so it is out there. And when I use charcoal in a backyard smoker as a hobbyist, I do get great smoke flavor. I do struggle getting smoke flavor at higher temperatures, though, and I don't think that's what's going on at these restaurants. They seem to be cooking between 225 and 275, so that should be fine. So I really don't know why I can't get great smoke flavor at most places. Now, there was a bit of smoke flavor on the bits of skin, but some of these bits of skin were honestly impossible to chew. They need to be cut much finer. I gave them a two for, for smoke flavor, though. There was a hint, but... Really not as much as I like. Moving on to the sauce, uh, there, were, there were no sauce options to speak of, but the one sauce we were given was very good. It was just sweet enough with a touch of tartness. Uh, I would give them a four for that sauce. For sides, I gave them a three. We had green beans and barbecue rice, which had pieces of sausage in it. Both were pretty good. For overall taste, I gave them a three. It wasn't bad, but again, not a grand slam. My friend thought the brisket was the star of the show. Uh, I found it to be too sweet, though. I have seen some people in barbecue videos add sugar to their brisket rub, 
but I prefer salty and savory for beef. Now while paying, I saw them take a pork shoulder out of the smoker and that looked amazing. It had uh, black bark, it was super moist, they were just tearing it apart with their fingers. I'll add it to the list for next time, but for what we had when we went, I would give them a three for overall taste. Overall value, I would give them a four. Compared to the platters in other restaurants, this was a pretty good deal. It was $30 for a three meat platter, two sides and a drink. During their soft opening, where I went to a few months ago, you had to buy meats by the pound, and that was pretty expensive. For service, I gave them a four. They have an ordering system like Chipotle, where you order your main entree, walk down the line for sides. Uh, it, was, it was pretty slow. It was about 20 minutes from the door to the counter, and they forgot to give us the skins as a side, so we had to go back to get those. While we were seated, Chris was walking around the restaurant asking everybody how everything was. He asked us if we needed another plate, and we said yes, and we're still waiting for it. <laughs> we did get a pit tour, so that was nice of him to, to give a tour on a busy day, so he got an extra point for that. Cleanliness, this is pretty much a brand new restaurant, and they had a 97.5 health rating. It's pretty much brand new and clean, so no problems there. I gave them a 5 for cleanliness. For ambiance inside, I gave it a 4. Um, it felt like a hip brewery, not really a down and dirty barbecue joint, but that's probably not what he's after. Uh, like I said, uh, Nightdale is a kind of a hipster part of town with young families moving in. It's an inviting place for sure, but I wish it had more barbecue theming. There's uh, community tables, again like Chipotle, so if the place is crowded, you do have to sit with people you don't know. That's not really my thing, but if that doesn't bother you, then enjoy the community tables. For the setting outside, I gave it a 4. There is some outdoor seating, there's a grassy area, live music. It looked like they're set up for a bar, but I didn't see a bartender or anybody serving drinks. Maybe they're still working on uh, the li liquor license, I'm not sure. So I gave Prime a total score of 33 out of 45. Now while we were sitting down eating, there was a sign on one of the doors that says, ask for a pit tour. And we did. So we met with Chris and he took us in the back and uh, gave, us, gave us a tour. There's like a like what I'd call a, a little museum set up uh, with a couple of uh, awards that Chris has won in his career. He still has his original red Brinkman smoker mounted to the wall. And I left because that's how I got my start too in the hobby was uh, the red electric Brink Brinkman smoker. I believe it was $30 at Walmart. Like I said earlier, Chris really seems to live for barbecue. He seems to have it in his heart and soul. And he works very hard at perfecting his craft and he takes it very seriously. And he showed us his three brand new smokers, the, the stacks of wood, and he explained how he cooks at three different temperatures depending on the phase of the meat. It sounds like you could really talk uh, barbecue with him for quite a while and that's pretty cool. During the pit tour I asked Chris how come they're not open for dinner and he said because they don't have to be. He made it sound like uh, he really does this for the love of barbecue and he likes cooking and he likes feeding people and I guess that's a cool answer but again this was new construction from the ground up. I assume he owes money to somebody but <laughs> he didn't seem stressed by it. So I thought that was an interesting answer. And like I said, I believe the food was good, but I'm still just not blown away. I wish I felt it was amazing as the other reviewers make it out to be. Uh, take a look at Google, take a look at Yelp. It's page after page of mostly five-star reviews, so I don't know what I'm missing. I do want to go back and try that pork shoulder and beef rib, though. Maybe that's where they really shine. So have you tried Prime? Uh, please leave a comment and let me know how it was for you. Thanks for watching my videos. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share.